वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज सम न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली गोंदर व्यूअर्स वेयर अ न्यू मोड ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट इज बींग एडोप्टेड बाय अम्हारा प्रोटेस्टर्स वॉट इज दिस न्यू मोड ऑफ अ प्रोटेस्ट कैन प्रोटेस्टर्स कंटिन्यू विद दिस टाइप ऑफ अ प्रोटेस्ट Secondly, Gurage viewers, Gurage zone, uh, Walkite city of Gurage. PM Abi visited Gurage a few days ago, and uh, he tried to pacify the people because people have been protesting. They want a separate Gurage regional state. After PM Abi returned from Gurage, people went on strike in Gurage's main city, Walkite. what happened there why is that after pm abis departure from gurage people went on strike and thirdly tigrayans are being forced to leave western tigray volkayat salamati from where thousands of tigrayans are now entering shire and end bagna firstly viewers uh, though Wednesday was calm there were no protests across the amhara region main roads open intercity transport uh, not suspended now intercity as well some local roads uh, remained closed but overall Wednesday was peaceful but now we are getting reports from uh, gondar that a new mode of a protest is being adopted uh can this new mode be implemented what we have learned from gondar is that a 10 day strike is being uh, announced it has been announced rather from today from Wednesday, twelfth of April, till the twenty-first of April, people will go on strike in Gondar. And Gondar uh, Amhara Resistance Committee, in its social media message, said that if anyone tried to disrupt the strike, Amhara uh, Resistance Committee, Amhara Special Forces. Fano's uh, would take action. Strike started today, and if you remember, two days ago when Gondar city imposed security restrictions, it said that anyone who tried to instigate or coordinate a strike in Gondar will be arrested uh, and uh, uh, will be prosecuted. Now. amhara resistance committee in gondar is uh, violating the security uh, restrictions announced by local city government the question is uh, is this doable because uh, people are already facing economic uh, challenges in ethiopia rising uh, food prices food inflation is a big challenge uh, unemployment as well poverty uh, how will traders businesses survive if uh, they are forced to close their shops businesses in the next 10 days uh, starting from today and secondly will schools banks remain closed to what about government departments so gradually things will be clear who will be part of this 10 day strike and uh, it seems that uh, people in gondar are holding discussions they are planning the next phase of this struggle it could be an ultimatum for uh, ethiopian government that uh, the government should resolve the issue in the next 10 days that is why maybe this announcement was made about strike 
whatever the reason is, uh, 10 day strike has been announced in Gondar. We will see in coming 2 to 3 days uh, if there is actually a strike on the ground in Gondar or not. Secondly, viewers, uh, Gurrage zone, Velkite, city of the zone, main city of the zone. PM Abi visited Valkite a few days ago. Uh, before that, we saw that uh, Ethiopian army opened fire at protesters in Valkite. Two were killed, I think, or three were killed, I think, and several were injured. Gurages, Volaitas in SNNPR have been struggling for separate regional status for years. But now Ethiopian government is creating uh, new regional states split from SNNPR. In cluster arrangement, Gurage and Vulaita uh, will become part of other uh, special Voredas and zones, uh, but they uh, won't be established as separate regional states because government says it is against the creation of uh, regional states along ethnic lines. When Pimabi visited Gurage, people raised the issue of creation of Gurage state and uh, he did not reject the demand altogether. He said talk should be held, etc. Bhano Naga was there too and all other, other regional presidents were there too from Romia, uh, from uh, Somali region, from afar. Regional presidents accompanied PM Abi. They tried to calm down, uh, to pacify the people there. After Pim Abi left, Kurage people went on strike. On Sunday and Monday, uh, there was two-day strike in Volki, the city of Gurage. Why? When Pim Abi visited Gurage, local authorities told big hotels in Volki to remain open. But the hotels uh, were closed as a protest, to protest against Pim Abi's visit to protest against uh, government's plan to create uh, regional states uh, in cluster arrangement. After PM Abi left Valkite, local government took action against the hotels. Local authorities started harassing the hotel owners. That is why uh, on Sunday and Monday, people went on strike in Valkite. We got this information from the ground. Secondly, city is a bit divided because uh, Kubena community, which lives uh, in eastern part of uh, Volkite city, uh, is not part of this strike. So, in eastern outskirts, shops remained open on Sunday and uh, on Monday. Uh, but majority of residents uh, is Gurage. That is why majority of uh, Volkite was closed. Uh, as a protest against action uh, against the hotels in uh, Valkita city. In another town of Gurage, Gubriye, there was full strike on uh, Sunday and Monday. So the issue is unresolved. It means that uh, uh, those hotels which were open, those shops which were open, People who welcomed PM Abi, they were forced to do so when PM Abi visited uh, Gurage zone and state media, government activists sh shared videos, pictures of people welcoming uh, PM Abi's delegation and shops were shown open. So it happened by force because people wanted to close their businesses, their shops. They were forced to keep their businesses open. Thirdly, your Tigrayans are being forced. They are being expelled from Western Tigray, Volkait, Western Zone. Uh, since the start of this conflict, when Western Tigray came under the control of Amhara forces, Iratin Army and Ethiopian National Defense Force, Tigrayans were expelled uh, from this zone. Uh, State Department, US State Department called it ethnic cleansing of Tigrayans. Uh, this process is ongoing uh, now from Volkait, from areas like Megaba, Kurrarat, uh, from Mesabri. Thousands uh, have been expelled in the past few weeks. Yes, past few weeks. I am not talking about last year. Past few weeks. 47,000 IDPs have arrived in Indabagna. 
which is under the control of Tigray authorities uh, close to Shire. And from here, they might move towards Shire. Shire is already hosting thousands of IDPs from Western Tigray and uh, Amhara uh, activists, uh, uh, Volkai city administration, uh, people like uh, Damaik Zadu are opposing the return of Tigrayans to Volkai Tomara Sagade. Not only are they opposing the return of Tigrayans, other those Tigrayans who are there are being told to leave the areas. They are being expelled towards uh, Tigray, uh, Tigray territory under the control of Tigray regional government. Uh, though uh, it, it is being reported that uh, Ethiopian government has uh, reached an underhand deal with uh, TPLF that uh, Volkai and Raya uh, will be given uh, to Tigray, but the situation on the ground is very tense. Amhara uh, militia members, Amhara fighters, uh, if they are expelling Tigrayan from Kurarat, from Megawa, from Salamut, it means that they are not uh, accepting the, such a decision if it happens in coming days or weeks. Take watch.